Aloha, my name is Christine Kubat. I'm testifying on behalf of Recycle Hawaii. And can you speak louder so everyone can hear you, Christine, please? Yes. How's that? Almost. As the state's longest standing and the county's most active recycling organization, Recycle Hawaii has a special obligation to protect the public interest in all matters related to the generation and management of waste. On behalf of the citizens who will be impacted by the outcome of Maricanoi's waste reduction facility solicitation for decades to come, we applaud Councillor Willie for her willingness to bring forth this resolution, and we encourage all councillors to vote in support of it. A requirement for a single proposer with three years experience handling 95,000 tons of municipal solid waste is a solicitation for a massive waste to energy facility. We agree with claims made by Bobby Jean Lighthead Todd and Mayor Kanoy that the language of the RFP was broad. But there is far more to a government solicitation than language. The requirements, the actual requirements, were prohibitive. First, we believe basing the RFP on the 95,000 plus tonnage was done to attract waste to energy proposals. East Hawaii doesn't generate that level of waste, and we believe that major trends in the packaging, manufacturing, and farming industries, which all support decreased levels of waste generation and increased levels of resource reclamation, indicate that we never will. DEM is fully aware that East Hawaii's downstream discards contain roughly 30% compostable materials, 50% recyclables, 10% reclaimable items, and 10% materials of no value. An RFP that would have allowed for a resource-based approach to waste reduction would have allowed for a collaboration between vendors, each with at least three years' experience in recycling or reclaiming the volume of discards related to their area of expertise. This means a vendor experienced at 30,000 tons of compostables per year could have collaborated with a vendor experienced in handling 50,000 tons of recyclables per year and a vendor experienced in handling 12,000 tons of reusable items per year to reduce waste in a manner that would have maximized benefits to the environment and the local 30 seconds. economy. This was not possible under the current RFP. You had to be a single proposer with three years experience handling 95,000 tons of municipal solid waste. We need to start over. If we want a resource-based approach, this RFP does not do it. Thank you.